Well, you guys got another video here for you about Microsoft Edge WebView 2, about it's missing from Windows 11. It's not actually missing, it's still there. It's just Microsoft have removed it from the list inside the app section. If you go to installed apps here and come down to where it says Microsoft Edge, you used to see WebView 2 listed there. Now, you can't uninstall WebView 2 even if you're in the EU, it allows you to remove the Microsoft Edge if you're in the EU, but not WebView 2, as far as I'm aware. But if you're not in the EU and you want to remove Edge and WebView 2, be warned that it will break your system by removing WebView 2. It does uh, break quite a few applications. Now, there's been quite a few people saying it doesn't break anything. That's because they're probably not using the applications that it does actually break. I did make a video about that the other day. You can check that out on what apps it does break. But if you do find that WebView 2 is missing or Edge is missing, then you can actually reinstall both of these. Even if you've actually removed them using a script, you can still put them back if you're having some sort of issue uh, with your system after you've removed uh, WebView 2 or even Edge. Now, quite a few people have said in the comments section, why doesn't Microsoft allow you to uninstall Microsoft Edge? And it's probably because they want you to use their browser. It comes pre-installed in Windows and they just don't want you uninstalling it because they want you to use it and have the number one browser uh, in the world. And that would be very beneficial to them. You can see WebView 2 is still here on the system. So if you're one of these people that haven't uninstalled it and wondered why it's just missing from your apps list, it's because they've removed it from there, sort of hidden it really, although it's not really a hidden application. It's just been removed from the list there. It's still there on the system, as you can see here. Now, Microsoft did make a post about this. I'll quickly show you what they had to say about it. But on their release notes here for Microsoft Edge, you can see when you come down here, it does actually give you some information about it. It says Microsoft Edge WebView 2 runtime will no longer appear in the installed apps list in Windows settings because it is a persistent system component. They don't want you removing uh, the WebView 2. They don't give you an option to uninstall it. And if you do uninstall it, it's deeply embedded into Windows and it can break uh, Microsoft Teams and a bunch of other applications like that as well. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that removing Microsoft Edge is going to break your system. It's just removing the WebView 2 part. Now, if you have gone ahead and removed uh, WebView 2 and Microsoft Edge using one of those scripts that I've showed you in the past, and you want to now put it back on, you can actually re-download the WebView 2 runtime uh, client here, and this will go ahead and install it. And you can also download Microsoft Edge as well and get that reinstalled if you want Edge back on the system, or if you're sick and tired of having error codes coming up if you're trying to do something because you've ripped it out of the system. Now, as far as I know, in the EU, when you go to remove Edge, it doesn't actually uninstall it. I think it just disables the background service to stop it running. I don't think it actually removes the whole Edge itself. I could be wrong, but again, if you have Microsoft Edge on your system and WebView 2, you're probably best to leave it alone because it'll probably end up breaking your system some way by using one of those scripts and uninstalling it. Anyway, just a quick video today, a quick update just to let you know why you're probably not seeing WebView 2 in your programs list. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.